obviously, you know, I mean, you can save up and people know you, some people, yeah, you know, you, you get, <laughs> you get, you get, they get the perks, di ba, of, you know, being an artista, daming free stuff, you know, attention, uh, fav favor, favoritism, you can, you know, people, Nisip nila minsan hindi ka makagawa ng ano ng 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 pangit, madali ka paniniwalaan ng mga tao para mga ganun to the point that sometimes you know, some actors abuse their popularity and I will stop right there <laughs> but um on the flip side lahat ng hindi okay dun sa mga sinabi ko yun din pwede mangyari sa isang artista you know um pinagtitripan kami or sometimes people don't yeah be bash kami people don't believe us people think we're stupid um, exactly they make up stories about us there's perception which is i think a favorite dj dj to eh pagdating sa mga artista eh alam mo sa course sa kwento there's always ang daming sides ang daming kung ano pinaniniwala nila yun yung paniniwala nila um or we don't get benefits from the government <laughs> as actors uh, that sucks um Ano pa ba? Yeah, we don't. And, ano pa? And um, it's just a, you know, it's a dog eat dog kind of um, industry. It's very tough, and we work long hours. And people think that maayos kami, fresco kami. Kasi yun yung trabaho namin. But sometimes pag wala ng makeup, di ba? Pag wala ng camera, dun talaga. Yeah. So we are also um, in. Isa na hirap kami manap ng mga totoong kaibigan, parang ganun. So, yun. Marami, maraming downsides being an artista, you know, parang ganun. If you can choose, uh, will you still choose to be a celebrity or someone else? An actor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dun sa trailer, yung character ni Jesse parang um, nagkaroon siya ng hangover. And then, yun. Uh, my question is for everyone. Parang, um, can you share some of your uh, hangover moment or crazy things? Oh my gosh. Or if any. Oh my gosh. Marami si Tonya. Ako meron na ako. Meron na ako. Kasi sa taga Malabon ako talaga. Tapos I remember being heartbroken and in college. Tapos lumaklak ako ng tequila sa lumaklak ako ng tequila sa Fairview. As nagising na lang ako sa Malabon nang hindi na babawasan yung pera ko. Hindi ko alam paano ako nakauwi. Tapos masakit yung mga kamay ko. <laughs> Tapos may pilas yung pantalon ko. Hindi ko alam kung pa hindi hanggang ngayon hindi ko pa. Kumita ka na kayo Sabi sa akin eventually yung na mamaga akong kamawa, apparently, apparently, apparently ay sinuntok ko pala yung pader ng banyo habang lasing dahil heartbroken ako. Pero yun, natuwa lang ako na hindi nabawasan yung pera ko pero nakauwi ako ng safe. Wala akong, ano, bait mo naman? Ano, ano, ano ba yun? Ano? 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 I'm a very responsible drinker. Totoo? Di ba may kwento ka sa ko? Gusto mo ako makwento? Wala! Wala! Pero ikaw yung tanong niya eh. Sa iyo eh. Sabi niyo, sabi niyo my movie world, ikaw muna daw. Oo nga. Mamimili pa ako. Mamimili ka ba? Ang dami kasi. Oh my yes. I was going to know ano, nung uh, ano ba to? Well, syempre pagpata ka naman kung ano-ano nangyayari, di ba? Maraming beses na akong gumising sa gate ng bahay ng ibang tao. Hindi <laughs> naman. Tapos gumising sa kotse na ano na. Pero actually yung ay, ay, ayoko sa kaya ayoko ng hangover. Ayoko ng kasi it's talagang para lang walang kwenta ng tao. <laughs> I don't think it's the story, but it, I think it's the it's the the feeling the day after. So meron akong hangover. Wala nawawala yung cellphone ko. Tapos nasa isang hotel ako. Wala akong damit. Hindi ko alam kung sino ang kausapin ko. 
Nag-order ako ng, wala akong pera. Nag-order ako ng food. Tapos maanghang pa yung na-order ko. <laughs> so, anyway, yun yung isang hotel story hangover ko na ano. Hindi ako makalabas bilang artista. Hindi ako makalabas dun sa parking. So, tiniis ko yung... Ah, hindi! Basta matagal na to. And then, um, basta basically, kung ano suot ko ng gabi, yun pa rin yung suot ko ng umaga. Walang nagalaw. <laughs> Tapos yung ulo ko, feeling ko, ito magnet. Tapos yung buong sa hig, bakal. <laughs> Sige, ako naman. <laughs> May pili pa ako, select pa ako. Pero, eto na lang. Medyo okay pa. <laughs> um, birthday ng friend ko, tapos... Kinabukasan, syempre, hungover ako. Pagkagising ko, Sobrang nagpanik ako. As in, yung masakit pa yung ulo mo, tapos nahihilo ka pa, tapos nasusuka ka, hindi mo maintindan yung sarili mo. Nagpanik ako kasi hindi ko alam kung sino nagbayad ng bill. Eh, nagpromise ako sa friend ko na ako yung magbabayad. So, ang ginawa ko, tinawagan ko siya, tapos nagwawala ako. Sabi ko, ano ba nangyari? Sino nagbayad? Sino nagbayad? Sorry ha, ikaw yung nagbayad. Hindi ko sinasadya. Pa-birthday ko yun sa'yo, pero ikaw nagbayad. Ganyan. Sabi niya, okay lang yun, Tay. Okay lang yun. Don't worry, I understand. Okay? Love pa rin kita. Okay, okay. Okay na, okay na. Tapos pinaba ko na. Nung sunay ko yung wallet ko, nandun yung resibo. So, ako pala yung nagbayad. 20,000 besh. Ang mahal. So, yun. Yun lang naman yung, yung kwento ko na... Ako na nga yung na lasing. Ako pa ang nagbudol. <laughs> Hindi na yung kasali ka po. I'm sure may hangover mo. Ano ka rin? Oh, marami. Marami. Oh. Uh, marami. 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 Check. Check. Pero dito kasi yung wife ko. <laughs> Buntis yung wife ko. Mga nanak yun siya yung mga two weeks. So, pas na lang. Pas na lang. Na <laughs> Ako may good na hangover. Hangover, hindi ko ma-describe kung hangover siya. Pero good siya bad. Yung good, yung pagkatapos, lahat na makita ko doon sa party, parang ang ganda ng tingin nila sa akin. So, parang, ang galing-galing mo. Ako naman, sinasabi mo ba talaga to? Sige, ang galing ko. Mga ganun. Tapos yung bad naman, Yung cousin ko, pinainom ako, bartender siya sa Big Sky Mine. Tapos pinainom niya ako na hindi ko alam kung ano yun. Basta may ahas doon sa loob. Pag inom ko nun, hindi na ako makagalaw kasi ginaganon niya yung ano ko. Kamay ko, gumaganon lang. Tapos siya na nag-drive ng sasakit. Tapos paglalaroan lang niya. Uy! Ganon lang. Ayun. Thank you. At syempre, welcome to the Mimak Sagot. Ayan, o. Hangover moments. Hangover moments. Oo, parang agad-agad, di ba? Hi, everyone. Hi, Ria. Ang inyong uh, friend ba isya na ang over moment? Um, siguro nung na-realize ko na hindi na pala talaga ako bagyan. So, wow! So, uh, 26, di ba? Sorry. Kindi kaya nga, that morning after. Kaya ba yun? Parang wedding ng kaberkada ko. Dati kasi pag hangover ako, ang bilis lang. Next day, okay, five minutes. Mga pagkagising ko, Isang suka lang. Wow, suka. Um, pwede na ako mag-workout. Oh my God, ngayon, two days. Two days bago ako mag-recover. Oh my goodness. Yun lang naman. I think that's my memory. Wow! Wow, at Sheila. Okay pa rin yung kayo sa webinar. Hello. Check, check. Hindi umabot. Pabuli natin yun. Hangover. Uh, sa totoo lang, pero next few years ko na rin naman ma-hangover kasi hindi talaga ako umiinom. So, mga last year lang ako naka-try uminom. Uh, ang hangover ko, siguro one week talaga akong disaster. One week talaga. Sobrang, ang nangyari kasi noon, parang sa poblasyon, nag-enjoy ako sa poblasyon. So, every pupuntahan namin, may pinibigay silang shot. So, sinashot ko naman, kasi hindi ko alam, hindi ko pa alam yung feeling talaga ng lasing talaga. So, Shot-shot lang ako, tapos parang feeling ko, mamimiti na ako ng hindi ko. 
Hindi ko sa inyo. Parang umingiti lang ako mag-isa. Tapos mamaya umiiyak na ako. Oh, parang I love you. Oo, oh, ay may ganyan. Oh, Emotional pag nalalasing ha. Umiiyak na ako nang hindi ko rin alam kung bakit. Tapos tinatawanan okay. lang nila ako. Tapos hinahabilin ko na yung sarili ko. Sabi ko, huwag niyo akong, huwag niyo akong hahayaan umuwi. Ah. Huwag niyo kami pauuwiin. Kasama ko yung fiancé ko. Huwag niyo akong pauuwiin. Oh, Tapos, eto na, di kinabukasan. Kinuweto ko talaga, no? Uh, kinabukasan, pagising namin, sabi ko sa fiancé ko, sabi ko, dalhin mo na ako sa ospital, hindi ko na kaya. Kasi first time ko talaga ganun, hindi ko alam kung normal yun. Tapos sabi niya, hang over lang yan. Maya maya daw, sinasabi ko na, feeling ko lasing pa rin ako nun eh. Ang sinabi ko daw, dalhin mo na ako sa church. <laughs> Ay, Kasi feeling ko talaga may sanib na ako eh. Parang hindi na ako to. Ayun. Totoo yun. Ayan, in fairness naman. Ako na... Ako, oh, kailangan ko panoorin yung The Girl in the Orange Dress kasi sobrang depressing nung buhay ni Lino eh. <laughs> kailangan ko ng kilig. Kung kailangan nyo ng kilig sa buhay nyo ngayon, kailangan nyo na yung Girl in the Orange Dress because ito na yun. Swak. At saka kung meron kayo mga friendship issues, ito yun. Ito yung movie ba sa inyo. Jesse! Bakit mga unahin mo? Kasi sa, isa sa mga binabasang uh, blog site reviews is yung My Movie World. At bibigyan niya ng 10 over 10 yung The Girl in the Orange Dress. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> ano siya, uh, siguro mga more than 20 times ko na siya napanood sa, sa, ed, sa editing. Sa, sa editing. Uh, and wal walang bias, I'm the worst critic of, of all my films. I, I, I don't like it, I, I hate it, I don't like this, I don't like this, ang dami kong gusto ngayon sin. Uh, I, I feel depressed about it. Pero by one thing na sa lahat ng viewing, Every time we come out of the viewing, ano, nakasmile ako. And I went, wow, it, re it felt really, really good. And I said, ang saya nito. Ang saya niya. Whatever it is, ang saya niya. It really just feels good. And credits, nakasmile ka. And it's Christmas Day. It's Christmas. And ako, yun yung gusto ko na film na yun. When, when we set out to do this, yun yun siya eh. It's a... Uh, It's a fun film. And yun, yun, nasasabi ko yun, magagaranti ko yun. Yung, you're gonna have fun. You're gonna come out smiling. So, so yun ang sagot ko for why you should watch it. It's Christmas. Thank you. Uh, uh, come out smiling. Yeah. Um, wala nang nasabi. To add to that, sa sinabi ni Derek na it's Christmas and it's, it's supposed to be fun and ganyan. Um, I think, yes, fun, and of course, Christmas is about giving and sharing. I think Christmas is mostly about love. So if you are ready to fall in love with us, feeling ko this is the film for you. Ako ready na akong mas may love kayo, so I'm so excited to watch it. So, yung, alam niyo yung prefrontal cortex ninyo, napupush sa front eh, ng gano'n. So, pag sobrang dami niyo ng trabaho, nasa siya, hindi kayo makakapag-decide ng tama. So, I think what we need to do is actually get some, like, uh, positive uh, chemicals up there, up here. So, <laughs> pag... Ano ka ng positive? ng The Girl in the Orange Dress. Para makapag-decide ka better kung ano yung second film mo na panonoorin. <laughs> well... Ako, um... <laughs> Personally, kahit hindi ako kasama sa film na to, siya pa rin yung kahit kung kunyari hindi, kunyari yung... Panatali ang kamay na, nagpapalang film. Panatali. Hindi kung sa kahit, kunyari, kahit hindi kunyari hindi nga ako nakas dito, una ko, unahin ko pa rin panoorin yung Girl in the Orange Dress kasi trailer pa lang, good vibes na siya. Actually, una... So, totoo lang, una kung nabalag ko yung trailer, yung OST pa lang namin. Napatod nyo na ba yung music video? Not yet. Not yet. Panoorin nyo, OST pa lang namin. Talagang, 
uh, alam mo na good vibe siya. And that's what we all want this holiday season. That's what we all want during vacation, during Christmas, na talagang good vibes tayo. And we, yun nga sabi nga ni Direk, we want to leave the cinema smiling. So, yun. Are we playing the trigger? Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you. So, um, <laughs> Derek stressed um, that he has fondness for the orange color. Um, orange what? is the color of joy. Yeah, yeah. He has fondness for the, oh, okay, the yes. color orange. Oh, yeah. okay. um, what makes the orange dress significant to the character of Jesse? Um, yung, actually, we didn't, we didn't put so much um, well on it. Yeah, stress or weight or I don't know, into the dress, no? Because um, it's not her dress. Talagang din ako lang yung dun sa ano sa sa hotel, di ba? So yun 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 yung ano. Um, but it's the color, kasi na talagang layu layu yun pa lang nakita na talaga, eh, di ba? So yun yung description sa kanya. Nung na nung sinig kasama niya, naka orange siya, di ba? The girl in the orange dress, boom, yung kagad yung nangyari. But this is not about fashion. Okay. This is not about um, anything else, but you know, it's it's more about a yeah, it's more about a scandal sa isip niya na nangyari and the trouble na 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 the yung na strain na ano na trouble dun sa parkada niya, lalo na kay kay sa kating Ria kay Kaka, eh, di ba? So it's more actually actually hindi lang namin pag usab mo siya. This is about friendship. That's what I that's what I've been saying kanina ba. You as Rai, na sikat na artista, um, is there a particular episode in your actor's life, in in in, re, in real life, na you you wanna run away from the limelight? How many times? Yeah, many times. Many times. It's uh, to be honest, no offense, but it's the TV interviews na ngawa ako ng ngawa sa TV because of a heart, you know, heartbreak or something or. You know, talking about my personal life, and um, uh, now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I have nothing to hide, but I'm also, you know, private person. Pero I don't like the days when sinusumpa ako na nandun ako sa isang project parang you know, and um, I don't like the days na I, you know, I get compared to anyone. I don't like the times when my family is suffering because of me. I don't like the days when my son, you know. Na bubuli siya sa school because you know I'm his dad. Um, stuff like that. Na I can just you know if I could just protect protect the hangol ng family ko parang ganon. And this movie actually you know shows that eh yung parang ano ba yung hirap ng buhay ng artista parang ganon kung kung makikita lang ng mga tao. Yeah, stuff like that. But you know most of the time I'm having fun. So enjoy yung mga artista. Asya ba yung rakan bol tung buhay nato eh. Thank you. Pero nakakatatlong dress na ako dun sa film na orange dress. So, find the difference na lang. Uh, okay. For Miguel. Sino mong unang sumagot? Na-inlove na ba kayo sa inyong fan? Or open ba kayong ma-inlove sa isang fan? Parang ganyan. Ako kasi yung fan. Hindi. Dito ba tayo Sheena? Ikaw ba? Uh -huh. Okay. Fan or... Are you open to the possibility? Oo oh, naman. Wala namang problema dun eh. Hindi mo naman kasi alam kung kanino ka mai-inlove talaga. Sige, tweet ko na yung number mo. Uy, <laughs> <laughs> pakakasal na yan! Pakakasal na yan! Pakakasal na yan! Ah, ah, bakit hindi, di ba? Pero huwag lang yung sobrang parang may shrine na sa akin. Oh my goodness. Hindi ko kakayanin yan. Kasi, oh, anyway, okay yun lang naman. Oh, yung mga stock, like Selena levels. Wow, nag-feeling. Okay. Una sa lahat, feeling ko, dapat kung sino man ang, mag ang mamahalin mo sa buhay mo, mag makakasama mo habang buhay. Oh dapat, siya ang pinakamalaki mong tagahanga. Ay, okay. Gusto ko yun. So, ang bawa, si Jericho, masaya siya sa asawa niya. Panigurado, fan nila ang isa't isa. The same way na si Sheena ay fan din niya yung ano niya. Kami na yung... Pero gets... 
So yun, so technically, kapag meron kang minahal, kung sino man ang karelasyon mo, pagkatapos meron siyang paghanga sa'yo, at may respeto niya yung trabaho mo at kinikilala niya yung galing mo rin, mm-hmm. ibig sabihin, you are technically in love with your family. So yun. Wow. Wow. Ang hirap naman sindan niya. <laughs> Ayaw ko na. <laughs> sa akin, ano, um, okay lang din. Pero as yun nga sa sinabi nga ni Sir Jericho kanina. Sir Jericho! Yung <laughs> ginaong... <laughs> Boss mo? Sabi ni Sir. Sabi ni Sir, yun nga parang um, with... Uh, with Lakas mo maka 40 ah! Wala naman ako sinasabi ha! <laughs> yun, I, I think um, once na... Depende siguro sa approach, no? I think it depends sa approach na kunyari na napitang kita na Hey! Um, Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan, tapos um, kung siguro sa pagbigyan ng nagano, okay lang. Pero yung, I'm a, um, yun nga sabi niya na baka stalker levels, ganun. Um, parang wag naman. Wag naman yung ganun. Yun, yun nga, kasi nga, in, in this line, there's, um, you have to be extra careful about the people na you wanna be friends with. Friends pa lang, ha? Na, but you have to, you have to be extra careful and um, must, this, yung discretion mo with the people you associate with, ganun. So, okay lang with, ano, with caution. Ganun. Bam. First, I think we have to identify what kind of fan. Yun muna. So, is it the crazy fan? Or the fan that you, wala kang pwedeng gawin masama? Or just the fan that is very honest with you? Parang ganun. We have to define that, eh. Kasi ako, Um, madali ako magbigay ng love eh, di ba? But I'm very uh, logical pagdating sa pag-ibig nowadays. Ano mo yan? Hindi kasi, syempre, kung sa, sakaling you, you, you falling in love with, you, you, you can fall in love with anyone, it's fine. You know, you, I can love anyone. Pwede naman talaga eh. Pero the thing is, what happens next is the more important question eh. It's just the beginning eh. If you fall in love with someone, di ba? But what happens next and how effective yung relationship na yun, pag yung tao, palagi na lang wala kang ginagawang mali, hindi ka na mag-grow. Or pag yung tao, di ba, palagi ka na lang kinikriticize, bubu- ma- di ba, mabuburi yung ka din sa buhay mo. So, it's uh, kailangan right balance of honesty and and love and acceptance, parang gano'n. And um, I must say that my fans, and I would, you know, sabihin ko talaga to, yung Team Echo, um, hindi sila masyadong madami, but they have been so honest with me to the point that binibigyan nila ako ng advice and I can tell them every, you know, like struggle as an actor, parang ganyan. And uh, I love them for, for, for being, you know, the thinking, loving, accepting, protecting kind of fans, parang ganyan. So, yun lang. Thank you. Thank you. Jessie? Um, ako, wala akong problema. I'm, I'm, I believe in love and I'm okay with the possibility of falling in love with a fan. Um, I would like to believe that Luis is my number one fan. Yes! Palagi siya nagko-comment sa pictures ko. And I am also his number one fan. Uh, with yung, yung siguro sa ibang meaning na yung fan talaga, okay lang sa akin. It's love. Um, kahit ano pang estado or kahit ano ka pa, kapag pag-ibig yan, wala nang makakapag-describe nyo. So, okay lang. Sa lahat, kung ano yung issues or things ng movies na pinaka-excited or pinaka-gusto nyo mapanood ng mga audience simula December 25? Themes and issues ng movies na nung movie na gusto nyo mapanood ng audience. <laughs> um, uh, wow. Ay, wow. Uh, there, may dalawa. Dalawang theme dito sa movie na nagustong-gusto ko. One is pag 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 may love kasi sa tao. Uh, si Jesse is in love with Rai. But the problem is there's like But mar- mar- dami dami fans na in love rin kay Rai. So parang, can you have that person? And then, ang best friend niya, so ever since maliit pa lang sila, in love na rin kay Rai. So paano? Um, and for me, it's very, very interesting siya. Yung parang, can I have 
that person. Your person that you can't, it's almost like you can't, can I have them? I can't. But something happened. Yung, it's almost like, nandun na ako sa gitna eh. Can I, can I take it back? Um, yung pangalawa, yung watching something happen, like a news, like a, a, a love story happen in moments. That's how we witness things, um, artista. You watch them on TV and then you read them and then you see them. You don't really, you're not with them. So you kind of, I kind of know Echo before I got, before we did a movie together, but I don't. And then I realize I don't. When the, the whole film happens in one day, and then you cut to the sa, sa, sa kanila, and then you cut to a TV, you cut to the, the, the media telling the story to siya ikakwento niya, titawag niya dun sa studio, ang studio ay report dun sa mga TV, everybody's watching from lahat ng mga channels. Di, there you're watching in, in snippets, di mo alam, so you wanna be there. And the only one there na nakakalam is si Jesse. And that for me is very important. Yung, yung when, you, when, you, when you want to tell a story about something, talk to the person. Yung, you need to be there. You need to kind of know, either you know or you don't know. Uh, alam mo yan. Um, and very important yan siya. And I don't want to spoil the ending because um, in the end, uh, it will go to the the media will tell him. Um, pero with the, that, yun yung important sa akin. Um, the, the two themes in the film that I really like. The press people. Pero hindi ko kayo katulad. Hindi ka, hindi ko kayo, hindi ka kayo katulad ng character ko. Kasi yung yung character ko ay sobrang makulit na crossing boundaries na talaga. Just to get a scoop. And bukod sa love story, because obviously si Jericho is a very, very capable leading man. Si Jesse, sobrang ganda niya sa straight ako sa kanya. <laughs> bukod doon, bukod doon, um, ang pinaka na-excite ako sa kanya upon knowing, learning about the movie uh, is how it kind of critics our celebrity and idol culture. How sometimes people, whether it be fans or the media, they forget that behind celebrities are human beings how we forget our boundaries just to get scoops. Like I said, hindi kayo ganun, ang babait nyo, you've been very nice. But uh, truth be told, maraming ganun eh. Kahit mga tagahanga at pimembro ng press, nalilimutan na ang artista man ay tao rin. At yun yung kinatutuwa ko sa pelikula kasi nakita natin kung paano sa gitna ng lahat ng frenzy na yun, merong human being na may pinagdaraanan. Which is yung character ni Rai at saka in the orange dress. Ayun yung... Ria, yes. Um, yun nga, as it, they, they, they've discussed, beyond uh, romantic love, we also discussed the power of platonic love that, you know, sometimes um, kahit na malalim yung pinagdaanan nyo, kaya yung you can get through it because, you know, your friendship's deep enough and that it's, you know, the beauty of finding a friendship like that. There. Okay. Chita. Oh, good enough. <laughs> Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. Okay na. And, pero may one last question lang. Uh, I think it's uh, in the movie kasi. If we could make there, there's one, there, may, medyo one side that also yung, okay, yung ibang fo yung focus ng movie. But I wish one day we could also make a movie about fans and how artists look at them also, and how artists look at the press also. There's um, there's a lot. We can't we can't talk about everything in the movie because it's two hour, you know, two hours. I'm not sure about the length, but you know, it's a it's a weird relationship. Eh. We see each other, but. Pagkatapos nito, most most people like avoid the the you know they avoid that intersection where in the actors and the reporters. And as a person, I'm not like that. You know what I mean? If you see me, I'll say hi to you and you know. And I don't like not seeing a, a, a person as a person and not knowing this person. And I like that. You know. Um, but I think what I really like about this film is that why can't? It's based on experience. Uh, I've nabasted the once. 
my 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 wife didn't like me in the beginning because artist ako. And for me, I had to understand why. Bakit hindi siya pwede mo ma inlove sa isang artista? And in kato ni Jesse, ayaw niya ni Ray kasi artista siya. And you see that poster, that's where the important scene happens. Wherein we talk about, you know, why can't you fall in love with me? I'm a real person. Parang ganun lang. It's you, you, you know. So, to me, it's a personal, parang personal experience yun na parang, mayroon pa kaming mahalin kasi, kasi ganun to kami, parang ganyan, di ba? So, Eh, di ba? Masagot. Hindi ka po mahirap mahalin. Yeah, but you know, I get it eh, because artistas kasi masyadong pampered, masyadong ganito, ganyan. Merong mahirap na bagay na intindihin sa isang artista. Mahirap maging partner ng isang artista kung hindi ka artista. Mahirap talaga. Thank you, Echo. It's, ito na nga. Para ako parating, um, you know, what's good about dating somebody who's an actor also, in my perspective, is that they understand how work works, na parang minsan may schedule ka the day, the day after and then biglang makakancel so all your plans will get messed up. Diba? Parang sobrang struggle yan with my non-showbiz boyfriend before as in away talaga. Yung parang, why can't you... Oh my God, I don't even have time to get a wax. Come on. Okay, anyway. And then, um, the pro naman of dating a non-showbiz guy is that it's a completely different world. It's like, you learn about something new every day. Hindi lang showbiz pwede niyong pag-usapan. Ang dami mong natututunan. Like, I mean, like with Sheena, si Jeron is a lawyer. That's a completely different field, di ba? Ang dami nilang ibang pwedeng pag-usapan. Pero yung pro, o yung negative naman doon, hindi nga nila maintindihan yung schedule. Nahihirapan sila kasi sila may leave eh. Kami naman, wala naman kaming leave unless sobrang in advance, advance, advance. And then, the, the con about dating an actor for me is, I find that there's a lot of more personal things with actors, like since they're so in touch with their emotions, mas nagiging emotionally charged yung relationship na parang minsan something becomes problematized kahit hindi naman kailangan problemahin na oh my god, relax, chill, you know? But yeah, I don't know. Yan lang naman, those are my thoughts probably on a daily basis. Well, <laughs> Echo. Ako? Oo. Oh, oh. I guess it's true. I'm not ashamed to, ano, to, to admit na I had, an, you know, meron akong episode or season, not season, but Saga. Uh, Saga. Saga. <laughs> <laughs> Saga. <laughs> 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 Decade. <laughs> Decade ng hypersensitivity. It's it's so difficult, eh. It's so, it's sobrang torture para sa amin because as an actor, you have to be hypersensitive. But then, pagdating ko, I have to switch it off. So, ganun yung hirap nung, ganun yung complaints na nakakuha ko sa akin na parang, yeah, I can relate to that, na schedule biglang magbabago, hindi mo ma- you, you can't have, um, uh, what do you call that? Like a ha- habit or, you know, you can't, uh, like a, a routine. No, wala kang routine pag artista. And for someone who's actually organized, kunyari, okay, think, think of it this way. I need someone who's organized, who's intelligent, logical, and ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And every, lahat ng yun, okay, for an actor, parang matcha-challenge yung partner mo. Kasi sobrang erratic ng buhay ng artista. And reactive, parang ganun. Kailangan spontaneous, kailangan ganun. So the, we found, parang sa amin, we found that the very things that we liked about each other, kami ni Kim, ang about Kim, were the very things that we also hated about each other. But we worked on that already. We've already been married for five years, so we're cool. We're like, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah. <laughs> Pero yun nga, sobrang hirap humana. But you know, I think in every relationship, you just have to find someone that can commit to the ever-changing life and world and ever-growing. You know, parang ganon eh. Parang feeling ko ganon lang. It's just very challenging kapag artista. Parang ganon. Um. Hmm. Siguro other than the issue or yung con nung sa non-showbiz, yun na yung sinasabi nila na sa schedule and they, hindi nila maintindihan eh yung work namin. Like, what if saloso yung boyfriend mo or yung girlfriend mo saloso tapos may kissing scene ka or love scene. 
So, gagalit siya, mag-walk out siya or something. Yun yung mahirap para sa mga non-showbiz. Pero, for me, kasi mahirap din kasi pag-showbiz eh. I mean, kapag showbiz yung, kuwari may maligaw sa, I mean, sa ating mga female celebrities. Like, what if may maligaw sa yung artista din na lalaki? May trust issues ka rin eh. Kasi like sa mundo namin, syempre, it's a make-believe world. And sa mga artista, parang jaded na rin sila sa love. Kumbaga, pag may naligaw na lalaki, ay, naku, it's cheese mas ako ngayon. Yung mga ganun. So, diba? It's, it's true naman eh. So, maingat din kami. I, I would like to defend lang syempre yung artists. Kasi baka isipin din ng mga tao na, ang gulo naman ng buhay ng artista, ang hirap naman karelasyon, ganyan-ganyan. Pero mahirap din for us eh. Kasi kami din naguguluhan sa sarili namin buhay eh. So, paano kami may love, diba? Pero, uh, yun, um, I think, sa parehas, non-showbiz or showbiz man, talagang may mga gray, gray areas and may mga problems. But, I think, it really comes down to adjustment and understanding. Um, whether it, kahit non-showbiz siya or showbiz siya, basta naiintindihan yung trabaho mo. And, it's also our obligation to explain to them kung ano yung requirements ng job namin. And yun, as long as there's understanding and commitment, of course, wala nang problema yung trust. So, yun. <laughs>